when do you use neither and nor and either and or? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, either or at neither nor ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. It may sound simple for you guys who already know the rules, pero when I posted this question sa aking Instagram account, napansin ko marami pa rin ang nagkamali. And that is why I'm going to teach you yung mga rules today. Now, in order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so let's talk about yung differences ng either tsaka neither and of course yung paired nila na words. Now, uh, ito ay ginagawa ko talaga in response to a lot of you posting sa comments na kailangan ninyo ng help with this. Kaya I'm going to try to make this as detailed as possible and hopefully pagdating sa exam ninyo, madali nyo na siyang makukuha. Okay? Now, anong ba yung pagkakaiba ng either or at neither nor. Maliban sa spelling, may pagkakaiba sila sa paggamit. So, anong either or, which is yung paired niya na, na word, you have to choose one of the options. So, actually, doon sa mga pinagpipilian na ibibigay sa inyo, meron, may isa, at least isa doon, na pasok sa standard or makakagawa ng bagay na kailangan gawin or na kailangan nandun. Okay? So, either or kapag meron. For example, black the mother, black the father has to be there. So, sa Tagalog, dapat may isa sa uh, nanay o tatay na nandoon. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, may isa. Hindi pwedeng walang kasama yung bata. So, kunyari, siguro, PTA uh, meeting or kukuhaan ng cards or mag -e enroll So, dapat isa sa nanay o tatay nandoon. So, dahil requirement that one of them will be there, this will be either or. So, either the mother or the father has to be there. May isa sa kanila. It doesn't have to be both of them, pero pag pipilian mo yung mother or father, may isa dapat na magpapakita. Now, ang neither or nor, you use it kapag none of the options work. Ibig sabihin, wala talagang dumating, walang pwedeng dumating, hindi... Uh, pasado pareho ng tao sa standards. Ang clue nyo dyan is the letter N. Now, if you noticed, ang neither at nor, both of them start with the letter N. Ano ibig sabihin ng N? Non or negative. Okay? Kasi ibig sabihin, if negative, di ba? Ibig sabihin, wala. Walang pwedeng pumasa sa standards nyo. Walang pwedeng gumawa ng bagay na kailangan gawin. So, our example would be like this. Blank the mother, blank the father could be there. So, could, ibig sabihin, wala daw doon doon sa nanay o tatay ang pwedeng makarating doon sa lugar na yun. So, kung wala nang pwedeng dumating, it, it would be neither and then nor. So, neither the mother nor the father could be there. Wala sa kanilang pwedeng pumunta. Now, paano nyo matatandaan ng madali? Again, N, neither, nor. Hindi pwedeng neither or. Hindi rin pwedeng either at nor. Kapag may N, may N sila pareho. At ang ibig sabihin nun is N for negative or none. So, wala dun sa mga ibibigay mo ang makakagawa ng isang bagay na yun. Okay? So, again, N for negative. Now, there are other use, uh, uses for uh, either and neither. Pwede rin siyang walang or or nor. So, for example, kung tatanungin natin kung positive or negative, something like adverbs. So, kunyari may nagsabi, She said that she, did, she doesn't know any of the new K-pop groups. Ang sagot mo would either be like this, I don't know any of them. Okay? Either, and, or kung gusto mong gawin ganito, blank do I, the answer would be neither. Kasi ang gusto mong ipahiwatig on both statements is that I don't. Okay? So, neither do I. Kasi hindi niya gusto. Now, bakit naging either yung first example? Naging either yung first example because of yung rule on double negatives, which we talked about on an older video. Ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas. Basically, ibig sabihin niya, dahil meron ka lang nauunang don't, I don't know, 
hindi mo na pwede sabihin na I don't know any of them neither. Kasi magiging double negative siya. May do not ka na dito, which is a negative, nasa maglalagay ka pa ng negative with the neither. So, hindi siya pwedeng neither. Dapat either na siya. So, ang sagot dyan would be either this, pwede to, I don't know any of them either, pwede rin ang neither do I. Okay? Pero you cannot say na either do I and you cannot say I don't know any of them neither. Now, there are other uses, parang mga pronouns or other things like that. For example, sabi dito, both of those paths lead to the viewing deck. You can go blank way. So, pwede ka daw. And so, positive yan. You can go. Okay? And uh, both of them will end in the same place. So, this will be either. You can go either way. Ibig sabihin, whether pumaganyan ka or pumaganon ka, ang ending, mas sa isang lugar lang din ang pupuntahan nun. So, you can go either way. Pwede ka dito, pwede ka dun. But you have to choose one. Now, ito naman. Black of the cars was available. They had to take a cab. So, kung sinasabi sa sentence, hindi natin yung sentence, sasabi, yung cars daw, we're talking about the availability of the cars, but ang clue is in the second sentence, sabi, they had to take a cab. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nila nagamit yung cars, ibig sabihin, wala yung cars. So, kung wala yung cars, we're talking about the negative here, this will be neither. Neither of the cars was available. They had to take a cab. Kasi, not either or negative, wala dun sa mga cars yung pwedeng gamitin. Now it's time for your quick quiz. Uh, again, either or neither. So ang options nyo would be either or, neither nor, or either neither lang. And ask yourself, meron ba siya o wala? Should I use either which is a positive? Uh, Bisa yun may isang mag-fit into sa standards or may makakagawa nung task? Or neither which means wala sa kanila. Okay? Or negative yung statement. So your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. 
So yung first sentence, sabi, you can blank, follow the rules, blank, leave. So pinapapili ka niya ng isa, whether susuot, susunod ka sa rules o hindi. Okay? Pero you have to choose one. So the answer here would be, you can either follow the rules or leave. Kasi again, may kailangan kang piliin na isa sa kanila. Next, number two, black of her daughter sh showed up. They both had to work. So, again, understanding yung sentence. So, yung mga daughters daw niya, dumating kaya sila. Pero ang sabi kasi dito, they both had to work. So, if they both had to work, ibig sabihin, hindi sila nagpakita or wala sila doon. So, the answer here would be neither. Neither of her daughters showed up. They both had to work. Okay? So, again, it's all about understanding kung ano yung sinasabi sa sentence. So, it really requires you to um, comprehend yung pinapahiwatig ng author or, nagsus or nung nagsasalita or nung speaker. Okay? Alright, number three sabi, Black Gigi, Black Mimi was strong enough to lift the box. It was too heavy. So, kung too heavy yung box, ang tanong, nabuhat ba siya o hindi? No. Dahil masyado siyang mabigat, probably hindi nila nabuhat. So, the answer here would be neither Gigi nor Mimi was strong enough to lift the box. Kasi hindi nga nila nabuhat dahil masyadong mabigat. Okay? So again, use your imagination to understand kung ano yung sinasabi doon sa sentence. Okay? Number four, I don't know if he meant it or not, but blank way, he has to pay for it. So hindi mo daw, sabi niya, hindi ko alam kung sinasadya niya o hindi, pero ganun pa man, he has to pay. Kailangan niyang bayaran. Okay? So again, ano ibig sabihin dito? Kailangan niyang, ano, Mamili ka ng isa sa kanila kung sinasadya niya man o hindi. Pero the same thing happens, magbabayad pa rin siya. So the answer here would be either way. I don't know if he meant it or not. But either way, kahit pa yan, binay kahit niya sinadya niya o hindi, babayaran niya pa rin. So the answer would be either way. Number five, blank pet was allowed inside. They had to find another place to stay. So if they had to find another place to stay, ibig sabihin, pwede ba yung mga pets pumasok o hindi? Probably hindi, okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi pinapasok yung pet, ibig sabihin, neither pet was allowed inside. Kasi walang nakapasok. Negative yung statement. Okay? So, the answer would be neither. Now, I, I hope you did great, but if you didn't, that's okay. I will be posting more quick questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, do follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. For more quick questions, I use the story feature na quizzes. Para makita ko kung tama yung sagot nyo o hindi. Okay? And sana, uh, kapag nag-post ako ng question nito, you'll be one of the, the few people. Or, or sana, mas marami pa nga na makakakuha ng tama sagot. Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and ako mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe request a topic that you want me to discuss or uh, find out kung may mga live review events on a review program or review materials na swak sa inyong susunod na exam, don't forget to send a message to me, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thank you guys, and as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.